everybody, it's Gabe from Light Designs, and today we are going to be doing a review of my Voopoo Drag. Click over to BudgetVapors.com to get some of my most favorite flavors in the entire industry for 15% off using my promo code GABESENTYA. When you use my promo code over on Budget Vapors, you can get 120 milliliters of premium e-liquid for just $8.49. Also available on BudgetVapors.com is my juice line. The Light Designs liquid line is available in 60 and 120 milliliter bottles. Both my juice line and the many, many delicious Budget Vapors flavors are developed in a high quality lab down in Florida. When you pick up my juice line or use my promo code, it really helps keep the Light Designs program going so thank you all so much for helping support the channel I really appreciate now my Vupu drag got sent over free for the purpose of review from the fantastic people over at fast tech so thank you so much for sending this guy over I've absolutely been loving my time with it but before we talk any more about that let's dive up close and do an unboxing and first impression and then I'll tell you what I think about it I, I like it I, I like it not to spoil the second half of this video but I like it a lot Boy, am I excited about this one. This right here is my Voo Poo Drag. Oh, you can see me in the uh, in the plastic film. Hi guys, hi. So it says uh, Voo Poo Drag with Gene Chip. Oh yeah, that's right, this runs the Gene Chip. Uh, on the side, it says Drag, and what's really cool about this is it shows you the color that your resin is. That's really exciting. I'm very happy I got this one because this this is the color that I really wanted of these. So uh, thank you, thank you again, Fast Tech. That's rad. This is the one I really wanted because it looks like the uh, it looks like those pop tarts. So on the back, it tells you what you got in here. You get one Vupu drag, you get a warranty card, a USB cable, and a user manual. So and then under that is a warning about uh, being of age to vape, and then don't throw it in puddles and don't be pregnant. Is depression on here? Women of risk, heart disease of depression or asthma. De depression. That's, that just seems weird. <laughs> because in my mind, vaping fixes depression. Okay, anyways, enough on, enough on that. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna dig too deep on that. Uh, under there, you have one of those scratch and sniff sticker things to make sure you have an authentic one. I don't know who would clone a Vupu drag. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't really understand the point in cloning um, regulated devices, but you know, it's there in case you want to check. And then there's all kinds of stuff right here, designed in California, and then it says VupuTech.com. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, look at this. Okay, alright, I'm not gonna look at the mod, I'm not gonna look at the mod, I'm gonna look at the other stuff in the box. You got some foam. Got some paper. Here is your USB cable. It would be sweet if these, when they send you these USB cables for the regulated devices, if there was a little charging brick um, that came with it. Like a nice charging brick that, that you get a good charge from. I think that would be a good feature to have. But yeah, it looks like a pretty standard USB cable, nothing too crazy. Then we have a thing that says Gene. It says powerful chip born for fever? Born, well, I, don't, I certainly don't want a fever. Under that, you get a warranty card with warranty information, and then you have a user's manual. And it's cool because it's a book. I like that it's a book style instead of like the big foldout. I think that's really cool. So it looks like it, it kind of breaks down everything you need to know about the mod and the gene chip, which is, uh, that's pretty cool. That's very helpful. I'm really, really excited right now. Whoa. <laughs> yo, yo, uh, wow. Okay, I all right. Hold, hold on. I knew this was gonna look really sick, but this is my first time seeing it, and the colors are so rich. It looks like one of those wild berry pop tarts, and and those were my favorite pop tarts. So the resin right here has a really cool texture to it. It almost feels like those tugboat box mods, if you guys remember those. It has a similar kind of matte. But, but soft feeling. Like it doesn't feel like a chalkboard. It feels nice and matte and soft. Right here is the 510, and I like the design they went with on the 510. That's that's unique, that's really cool. This fire button's cool. Uh, I can feel there's a little bit of an indentation in the center, so it kind of swoops a little bit to kind of make it feel a little bit more ergonomic. I like that, that's, that's a good uh, attention to detail right there. On the other side, wow, that says, <laughs> That says drag, that says drag really big. Hey man, what kind of racing do you do? 
Oh, also on the front is your USB right there for charging, but I would always recommend to use an external charger. It's just a lot safer and your batteries will charge faster. The door feels really sturdy. There was a lot of magnet. Wow, look at that. Yeah, the, the magnets in here are real strong. There's a lot of magnetization, which is good. So the uh, the inside body of the mod is, is really, it's really clean. Um, up the top it says just drag and then it says gene chip. You got a Vupu stamped battery wrap thing which is, is sweet because a lot of the times it's just a piece of ribbon so that's another really good attention to detail. The contacts are spring loaded so you press them and they go in and then they come back out and they, they're rounded on the edges. That's a really good attention to detail as well. Uh, you have these four screws right there. You see one, two on the bottom and then three and four and then it says it will void the warranty if removed. I think that's a really smart thing to have. I also think it's smart that they made it this crazy allen key torque wrench size that a lot of people won't have laying around so people don't go digging around in there. You know the average everyday person really shouldn't be digging around in these chips and boards and connections and stuff. Leave your tinkering for your coil. Uh yeah so this thing is ridiculously beautiful. I just I just noticed that there is like a a cut right here so this end is is a perfect square and then this end is cut. Oh wait a second wait a second I see why that is. Oh, I get it. So your pinky isn't, wow. Okay, they did, hey, they did a really good job planning this out. Okay, I see. So if you're a thumb the button guy, you have a spot to put your finger right here. If you're a finger the button guy, you have a spot to put your pinky right there. Or, or put it like that or, or however you like to hold it. Essentially it's designed so a left hander like myself or a right hander like, I don't know, the rest of the world can comfortably use this mod. I, I get it. I get it. That's, hey, hey Vupu, that, that was, you guys are really smart. That was, that was very smart. This mod is too beautiful to put normal wrapped batteries in here. So what I'm going to do is use the HP Sprout technology to scan in this panel right here and make our own custom battery wraps that match this panel. So let's go over to the Sprout, we'll scan it in, we'll make our custom battery wraps and then we'll start it up for the first time. I'm, t I'm really excited. From the perspective of a predominantly mechanical mod purist vapor guy, how do I feel about the Vupu drag? 
The Boo Poo Drag has been pretty much my go-to mod for the last month that I have been carrying this around with me. Now I'm not going to go over the menu system here with you today uh, because there's already like a hundred reviewers talking about the menu systems and the button function. But one feature of this mod that got me that got me and this this stands out from from any other regulated box mod that I personally have ever had is it has a smart wattage feature so with the smart wattage feature you take your atomizer whether it's an RDA or an RTA or a sub ohm tank or whatever you screw it down and it will ask you if it's a new coil just like any other regulated box and you hit yes and then it will adjust the wattage of the mod to where it feels it is best to be vaped at. So I screwed down my Kabuki RDA that has a really intense build in it. It set it at 106 watts. Who would ever pick 106 watts? It's such a random number. But what I've learned from the smart wattage feature is that I have been selected wattages that are too high or too low for the coils because they're like even numbers. So like, I'd put this build at 85 watts. I'd put this build at 125 watts. And, and uh, my personal internal judgment of where the wattage should be is wrong. So this is at 106 watts, which I would never pick. And I guarantee you probably would never pick 106 watts. That's a weird number. And I guarantee this will be at the perfect wattage for where it should be vaped. That's exactly where it should be. And it tastes good. The vapor production is perfect and it's tailored perfectly to the build. And this is what sets this box over the top for me. And this feature is one of the main things that I've really loved about this. Aside from how cool it looks with the swirly wild berry pop tart resin and the, the cool conical shape and the cool buttons that are indented and, and everything else that I aesthetically like about it. If this box was really ugly, I would still like it just for the performance of it. That smart wattage feature, man, it, it got me. I screwed down my reload RTA and it, is that a new coil? Yes and it set it to 89 watts, 89 watts. The build that I have in the Reload RTA is at a .07, and the build that I have in the Kabuki is at a Z, uh, .08. I believe the lowest you can build on this mod is a .05, uh, which is good because all of the builds that I personally enjoy making are around that kind of range. So I've never actually been in a position where I've built too low on this. Now prior to getting the Vupu Drag, my Snowwolf 200 Watt Plus was my only high wattage regulated mod. Uh, I've been using it for about a year now. I got it for a Christmas present last Christmas. And coming in at almost double the price of the Vupu Drag, how do they stand up head to head? I, I gotta give it to the Vupu Drag. It has so many features that that I like better than the Snow Wolf 200 Plus. Granted, the Snow Wolf has a touch screen and it's slightly smaller. It's a little bit more sleek looking. I, I just prefer the Vupu Drag better. It's a little bit heavier, fits a little bit better in, in my hands. The Snow Wolf is a little bit too small. Uh, I'm, I'm a taller guy, I'm about 6'1", so my hands are a little bit larger, and the Snow Wolf kind of, it's a little bit too small for my hands, but the Vupu feels nice. I feel like I have a, a firm, secure grip on it. And I like the aesthetic of the resin a little bit better than I like the glassy finish. Granted, I still love the Snow Wolf and it still will be used, but all around, the Vupu is a better mod. As far as cons, I really, really don't have that many. I have a tiny bit of paint chipping right around the edge right here because I set it in the cup holder in my car when I'm driving places. In my vehicle that I drive, I have carbon fiber cup holders and they're a little bit rough on the like bend of it becoming a cup holder and it scratched it just a little bit around the fire button. But as far as the overall finish, we are not talking a smoke alien situation at all. The, the paint's holding on there nicely. Another con is if you're like me, I, I over drip my juice like crazy and the juice will you know come out of the vent holes and go down into these little creases. I, I wish that they put kind of a, a piece of like plexiglass or normal glass over the screen right here because if you got juice in there, it would be very difficult to clean it out of the edges and I worry that it could possibly get in my board 
wet, maybe. One more con I have is uh, your battery uh, display meter thing. In the left-hand corner of your screen, it shows you uh, like a picture of a battery, and then it shows you chunks that you have remaining. But this is a dual 18650 mod, so I wish they had made it a little bit smaller and put two batteries so I could always keep an eye on if one is draining before the other one. When you are charging it through the USB cable, it will show you the percentage of two batteries. It will uh, take over the screen and you'll see one battery right here and one battery on top of it. That's really cool, but I wish they made just like two little tiny ones next to each other while the mod is on. I like the placement of the USB charger right here uh, underneath the up and down wattage buttons because you can set it down on a shelf nice and securely and charge your mod. It also has pass-through charging so you can vape it while it's charging. I personally wouldn't recommend charging your mod like that all the time. Uh, I always recommend using an external charger for your batteries. It's just a little bit more reliable and it's better for your batteries. But if you're in a bind where you don't have your battery charger, if or if you're on a long trip, it works out great. Speaking of being on a long trip, I took this exact setup with me right here, the Kabuki RDI with the exact build that's in here, and my Vupu Drag on an eight hour journey out to Connecticut a couple days ago. Batteries lasted a really, really long time. I was actually not expecting it to last as long as it did. And uh, it worked great. I, I, I was satisfied with just this setup the whole time I was gone. And I've taken just this setup or this setup with the Reload RTA on top uh, pretty much everywhere that I've been for the past month. So with all that being said, do I recommend you pick one up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. You can get an authentic Vupu drag just like this one right here with the resin for $46 from FastTech. Or you can get a carbon fiber version, which is like the same thing, but instead of resin, it has carbon fiber for $40. That's an absolute no brainer to me. Uh, I highly recommend you pick one of these up. I've, I've been enjoying my time with it and I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep using this, uh, to, I don't know, until it doesn't work anymore. I, I love it. So thank you so much to Fast Tech for sending this on for the purpose of review. I, I really appreciate it. This has been one of the best mods I've ever owned. So thank you so much. And thank you everybody for watching. Let me know how you feel about the Vupu Drag in the comments below. There will also be links in the description on where to pick this guy up. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see more of what I do, you can always tune back in on Monday for Music Video Monday. Wednesday for Review Wednesday and Friday for the Friday long format video where we take questions and try juice and it's it's just a great time. If you'd like to see even more than that, you can follow me on Instagram at the Real Gabe Smith. And for booking information, send me an email to popculturerecords at gmail.com. Booking me for an art show, booking me to come play music at your event, or booking me for some film work. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to take my secret liquid that's in this bottle that you may be able to buy very soon and uh, I enjoy this Vupu drag. That's uh that's fantastic. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm, re I'm really uh, I'm really proud of this one. Yeah, you, yeah, I think you guys will like this. You'll be able to get it soon. Uh, but yeah, so with all that being said, uh, have a wonderful day and I will uh, I'll talk to you down in the comments below. Be good to each other and um, I don't know. See you later. Oh, cool guy, blow vape clouds into your lens. What a, what a transition!